Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of a romantic new beginning. This is an energy of someone offering you their cup of love. This can be um, a new start in love, someone pouring out their feelings for you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Ace of Swords, Air Energy. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. And we have the moon, Pisces energy. So it does look like someone is coming towards you with a love offer. With the chariot, this is someone who's very determined. This could be also someone who kept their feelings from you or they kept their feelings hidden from you uh, with the moon being here. But they are ready to be more expressive about how they feel because we also have the ace of swords, which is a, an energy of someone speaking their mind, someone opening up, someone giving you clarity and being quite blunt and honest with you um so someone is going to be emotionally honest with you and i do see it leading to a new beginning for you guys um there is a feeling of someone feeling like this is something that's not easy for them to do but it's something that they feel is necessary for them to do with the chariot there's a strong determination and there's also this affectionate energy with the with the ace of cups okay so they could have a lot of fears around vocalizing their feelings but this is someone who feels called to do so so let's clarify these cards sagittarius Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is, again, someone rushing in with communication, someone who is very sure of what they want, and they are very determined to get their message across to you. Um, this is someone who really wants this to work out. So there's a sense of being quite fixated on making this happen. Um, this is someone who um, will be quite persevering and persistent. So let's see. We have the Page of Swords, and this is Air Energy. We have the Death card in the reverse, Scorpio Energy. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So yeah, this is someone who's coming with a serious offer towards you. Um, this is someone who took their time. Um, it does look like you could have history with this person because we do have the death card, which shows that this is someone who's wanting to restart a cycle. They want to revisit this connection. Um, it's possible that in the past, this person dragged their feet and they may have missed out on an opportunity or there's this feeling of almost missing out, which is why we see the Knight of Swords. There's an air of desperation, an air of urgency when it comes to uh, trying to keep you or trying to have this new romantic beginning with you. Um, this is someone who has been watching you. They've been paying close attention to you with the Page of Swords and they really want to communicate with you. You're heavily on their mind and this is someone who really hopes that they'll be able to turn a situation around. This person regrets not having been more emotionally honest with you when they had the chance and it looks like this time around they want to seize an opportunity where you're concerned. Um, they are ready to offer you something serious like commitments with the Knight of Pentacles. But again, it's a very cautious person. So it looks like in the past they did move very slowly. Okay, so I'm going to pull out 
an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have a new start is coming, new moon. So someone is determined to have a new romantic beginning with you. Okay, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this is someone who is really looking at the past and regretting something. Yeah, They want to fix and heal the past so that you guys can have uh, a better beginning. You know, this is someone who who is wanting to do things differently this time around. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. So this is someone who's really learned from their past mistakes. Um, they have seen where they went wrong and they really do want to correct the past. Like they want to rectify things here with you. And there's this feeling of them being really desperate to have a new beginning with you. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice. Sagittarius. Okay, we have surrender to joy. The key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.